two, one. Granada Hills Charter High School has found itself in the news once again. This time for something quite infamous, shall we say. So Granada High School is a school in the Valley and it's a school that I work at and it's a high profile school. Uh, often it finds itself under the bright lights of winning the academic National Academic Decathlon pretty much every year. And uh, recently it came under scrutiny, this school, our school, for firing teachers who were not vaccinated um, to the concern of some people, quite a few people still get some criticism for that from quarters. And then recently this week on Halloween, there was a absolute brawl in one of the classrooms that left the student hospitalized. Now, some people have been asked, well, why, why has Granada Hills found itself in the news over a fight in class? I think it has to do with the fact that the student was so badly beaten in the presence of a couple of staff members, you know, a teacher and a staff member in class. So it really is hard to understand what happened. Um, I'm not gonna give the viewpoint of a few students I heard um, because it really sort of paints a bad picture on a teacher, a teacher that I know. Um, I do know the student that was pummeled very well. I do know her. Um, and several of the students that were in class. And I, I will say that uh, she's gonna be fine. The student that was beat up, she's coming back to school on Monday. The student will, um, is under suspension and has to go through a process. Uh, but I guess, I guess the, the broader question for me in this, in this discussion and this topic is what, measures can teachers and staff do to keep students safe? Because in all honesty, some of the students don't feel safe. They've expressed that. I've heard that um, from a couple of students. They're, they're not feeling safe, maybe in certain contexts at the school. I have to be careful with what I say. <laughs> and just to be clear, the student got beat up pretty badly. Uh, her nose was busted. In the news, it reported, KTLA reported that her teeth were cracked out of her mouth. Like she lost some teeth. That is inaccurate. Um, she was just badly beat up. Um, I have my opinions. I know her very well. So I have, I have certain opinions that I don't, that doesn't really matter um, what kind of person she is. She got beat up. <laughs> So I guess the question is, are the safety measures in school adequate for students and teachers? And the second question I have, and you can answer Jake, uh, is should teachers intervene when there's an all out brawl in the class or even out, you know, out there, yeah. outside the class? What do you so yeah, the safety measures, um, I, you know, as you're bringing this up, Ruben, I think it's a good idea for some type of in-service at schools right now regarding this. And let me tell you why. There's a lot of fights going on, not only at my school, but my my son's former school, I've heard their fights. And I'm sure, well, of course, at your school and there are other schools, I'm just sure of it across the nation. And so maybe this is the time to sit and say, hey, you know what, let's talk about what are our procedures regarding uh, fights or uh, some type of disagreement between students. And sometimes there's weapons involved. Um, I know for myself, over the history of, of my teaching, I have broken up a few fights, but I also learned that if it's going to get to a point where I'm going to get hurt, I don't jump in the middle of it, right? If it's, if it's, a, if it's a fight where I'm able to you know, help with one student, another teacher helped me with another student, um, I could do that. But I haven't done that in a while. Usually I'd like to if there's police on campus or if there's um, deans, if, if they're on top of it, hey, great. That's what they're getting paid for to do. Um, but sometimes you're by yourself, right? It's just, it's right in front of you. 
and you're like, oh man, I got to deal with this. Get, and usually I try, if, if, if I'm by myself in, in the past, I would say, hey, go get somebody out, talk to a student who's near me, go get someone to help me. And then I'm trying to cool it down, pacify it. But um, yeah, I think the number one thing, like I shared, we need some training on it. It's happening a lot more. And it's happened in your classroom. We're going to, it's funny. You just, I'm just going to say it's funny. One time years ago, I'm saying when I first started teaching, I had my doors open and I had kids in front of the room and I saw some kids walk by uh, in front of my door, right? And one of them just came in and she popped the kid. I'm like, what? And, and of course I had to call the security and so forth, but it was bizarre. And so I'm thinking those those type of things are happening right now, obviously happen at Granada. Um, yeah, I, I think I don't think teachers are adequately trained on all this. And I think so, so that's a, a step we could take is that we need to be better trained in case there's some um some, something in class, something something big. Um right. like this assault. This this kid went to jail who and, and he's being charged. I mean it's it's so assault. serious things. The other thing is um you mentioned that there's, you notice there's more fights mm -hmm. in general. Uh, the administrator during a meeting today about this incident, uh, incident said that uh, something interesting. She said that Granada, she's saying this about our school and I'm just wondering if this sure. is going on at other schools. She says, it isn't the same. We are a different school, she oh, said. I agree. And, we're not going back, something to the effect of, it's not gonna go back to how it was. And she mentioned the lock, she didn't use the word lockdown. <laughs> she mentioned the shutdown of the school oh, yeah. um, in, uh, and the loss. Now this is an administrator. This is right. an administrator at our school. She's not somebody who's critical of our school, <laughs> she helps create policies, okay? Right. She says, and the loss of the some of our students lost their sixth and seventh grade years mm -hmm. which are critical years of development social development for our students and so what do you get what type of student do you have who have who has lost that so mm -hmm. it's really interesting she, she put that in there and um maybe we're we're seeing some of the realities of that yeah, and I think so. I think maybe in a future episode, we'll bring in a, a maybe somebody like a dean to talk about some of these issues because that's scary, Ruben. When you said that, I was I thought you were going to go in a different direction, but to say, hey, it's it's not going to be the same. And I feel it at my campus. I just I just it just feel it. It's just different. Kids are I get agitated more. I I hear them talking talking about fighting. Uh, like they want to fight. I go, why do you want to fight? <laughs> you know when, that we didn't have that issue before. We had years, Ruben. I don't think we had a fight. You know, that's pretty crazy to say yeah. that, but we're having them all the time now. So, yeah, um, yeah they're definitely um, serious business. Yeah. Well, uh, we're hoping for the best. There are rules in place at our school, as I'm sure there are at your school, but there's, um, and, and that we have, we've implemented, I think we've talked about it in this channel, um, this, this concept of capturing kids' hearts, which is a program that encourages um, real strong relations between teacher and student, mm -hmm. strong environment, things like, like that. And, and I think that type of thing helps. Um, but um, think about your first year of teaching and this year and how different it is, all the ways it has changed. So including the type of student that we have now. So very interesting. Thank you for joining us, everybody. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.